Today is our 14th annual Northrop Grumman Student Design Showcase here at Florida Tech. Uh, it's happening over at the Clemente Center on our main campus. We have over 100 projects here, uh, both in science and engineering, and we have 75 different judges from the industry who have come out to judge today. We also have our Northrop Grumman VIP judges who will be doing their own judging. For today, it's all about having fun. I mean, the past two to three semesters has just been hard work, grinding, uh, everything that they've learned throughout their four years here, they're compiling it into this final project. But really, it's fun time. You know, after this, it's celebration, it's graduation. Uh, I don't think the winning really matters. I think the fact that they're done, that they've got out of the Design Center alive is uh, something to be proud of, for sure. Our project is the 3D filament recycler, um, now known as Plastec, uh, PLA Sustainable Technology. Uh, our customer, the L3 Harris Student Design Center, asked us to create a recycling machine capable of taking their scrap plastic that comes from 3D printing, uh, failed prints, support material, uh, that kind of stuff, and be able to put that into a machine that can recycle it by breaking it down, remelting it uh, into new filament, and wrapping it onto a regular spool that you can take and put on a 3D printer for new 3D printing. One of the challenges was also we have so many components, you know, so many assemblies, uh, trying to make sure that each of those individual components all flow perfectly together. Uh, so start to finish, input to output, we have one cohesive process that works perfectly. Having something built, um, being able to say that we had a customer, they had requirements, they had a problem, and we were able to solve that by building a machine for them. Um, it's, it's extremely gratifying to be able to say we built this machine, and all the designs, all the manufacturing, all the hard work and the late nights, it all adds up to a finished project that we're really happy about in terms of functionality and, and aesthetics and it, everything came together and we're all extremely happy to be here and, and be able to talk about it. We designed a myoelectric exoskeleton arm brace for patients suffering from muscle deterioration. What our arm brace does is it takes the EMG sensors from your muscles and it converts that into mechanical movement using a servo motor. It assists muscles for day-to-day -day use or for rehabilitation, and because of its customizability, lightweight design, and user friendliness, it can be used easily for millions of people around the country for hundreds of different applications. It feels incredible to be at the showcase knowing that my team has done so much hard work over the last year and a half to get us here and to be able to say that we have a successful myoelectric exoskeleton arm brace that is capable of making a difference in helping real patients. Yeah, so uh, I'm Thomas Francis. I'm the team lead here for uh, the electric vehicle team. Uh, basically, what our goal here was, um, we have a motor here that was donated by one of the great research professors uh, at our CAMID research facility. Um, it's a Ford Mach-E illuminator motor from the uh, electric vehicle uh, that they sell. Um, and our goal was to design a traction inverter to get this thing to spin. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges ended up coming towards the end. Uh, it was really just time constraints, budget constraints. Um, what ended up happening was we found out in one of our simulations that this thing could generate thousands upon thousands of volts. Um, and we just didn't end up having the budget left over to design the power control circuits to deal with that. Um, so we have a lot of things set up here to prep the next team for that sort of thing. Dude, it's amazing seeing everyone out here, uh, seeing all these projects. It's been fantastic being able to see what my friends have been doing and, what, and them coming over here to see what I've been up to. But I've loved every second of it, seeing the professors that I've seen walk around. Um, it, it's, it's really great to be here.
Melissa Carson, and what my project is, is taking a different plant growth promoting bacterial species that were originally identified on the International Space Station and trying to determine not only the way that they communicate, which is through quorum sensing, but actually the specific molecules that they are using to do that uh, phenomenon. And so what we were trying to do was using a chromatography procedure to actually extract and distinguish the specific AHLs in each species of bacteria that we've previously identified. I'm really excited to be able to showcase all the work that we've been able to do. I think the team's very proud of what we've been able to accomplish throughout the year, and it's always exciting to see everyone's projects and get to interact with not only uh, other professors, but also just teach the general public about some of the cool work that we're doing at Florida Tech. Our project is to do stellar mapping of the Milky Way galaxy. We're trying to update and better understand the structure of the spiral arms of the Milky Way. And we're doing this by taking some original data points provided to us by our advisor. And we're doing a three-dimensional cone search around those points with a radius of 120 parsecs. And we're grabbing all of the data that Gaia's data release three that had uh, come out last year and we're just kind of cataloging, cataloging all the information and eventually updating a plot of the spiral arms of our galaxy. It feels crazy and really exciting. Honestly, it's great to have gotten to a place where we worked so hard for you know our entire degree and here we are with actual results. Uh, we might have discovered a globular cluster, so that's really exciting. And I'm, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm proud of our work. I'm proud of what we've done, so it's good. Hello, I'm Caitlin Kubrick. I'm an astrobiology major and I'm working on incorporating edible decomposers into a bioregenerative life support system for a Martian settlement. What I do is I use my organism to grow in simulated Martian regolith with the hopes of creating a food supply for a settlement as well as generating a supply of soil to improve sustainability. What I've found in my studies is that my mushroom can grow up to 25 grow in up to 25% regolith by concentration and it will grow mushrooms similar in size and shape to that of the control. So what we have found is that our organism is a suitable decomposer for what we are proposing. I'm very excited to be here. It is my second year returning and I will return again next year. I really love sharing my ideas with faculty and the public and the judges and it's a really good environment. 